Hi guys, welcome to Your Mentor. On this channel, we upload the latest government permanent non-permanent job notification, PhD work from home job notification, school teacher job notification, other than this assistant professor, associate professor and professor job notifications. Today, we'll see the PhD admission notification uh, uh, that is from IIT. Pat Before going into the main content of this video, myself, I am Ashwani Kumar, the Academy Educator of Electronic Science as well as the General Paper 1. So, the candidates who are preparing for the UGC Net Electronic Science for the Paper 1 as well as the Paper 2 for the next cycle. The new course I am going to start from uh, Feb 9th onwards. So, the interested candidates may take the subscription plan. So, these are the different subscription plans are mentioned on the screen. And out of all these things, you may take any one of the subscription plan and use my referral code that is ASWINIK to get the 10% discount on any one of the subscription plan. You can see that uh, Indian Institute of Technology, Patna, PhD admission July 2022, that is autumn semester. So for this, uh, the applications are out. So we, uh, you can see the departments here, chemical and biochemical engineering and area of research. So you can choose uh, uh, one of the areas which you want to work as in the PhD. Okay, next is chemistry. Uh, other than this, civil and environmental engineering. You can see the specialization here. Also, next is computer science and engineering. Uh, these are the areas where you can work under this department. Okay, next is electrical engineering. So again, you can see the various uh, uh, interesting areas uh, of, for PhD. So next is humanities and social science, metallurgical and material engineering, mathematics. For mathematics also, there are several areas where you can work. Um, design, manufacturing, these are uh, under mechanical engineering. Next, we can see uh, the criteria for applying. So. Uh, category for admission, uh, you can apply under regular or full time. Uh, also, you can uh, under this there there will be institute fellows and research fellows. Research fellows are like they get the fellowship from government government organization like CSIR, UGC, and uh, these inspire programs, etc. And second one is institute fellows. Institute fellows that uh, the institution uh, that fellowship is provided from the institution. So you can see the uh, qualifying degree for this financial support is B, BTEC, MSc, MA, MBA, MCA and equivalent or equivalent degree with valid GATE score. Uh, next is BTEC from IITs with CGPA 8. Like if you are a, a BTEC graduate from IIT and you have a CGP of 8, you will be exempted from GATE qualification as per MHRD. Second category is sponsored students from uh, various R&D organizations and academic institution. Third is self-financed and for this also you uh, should have the qualified, uh, you should have qualified national level exam for example NET and NET or GATE. Fourth is uh, project staff. So for this also you must have qualified GATE or NET and um, uh, other uh, details also for employed and part-time Next is minimum eligibility criteria. So, for example, if you are applying for PhD direct after your graduation, like from BTEC or B, for BTEC or B, or MSc, MA, MC, MBA, for these also, the upper age limit is 28 years. And for MTech, ME, MS, MPhil people, the upper age limit is 32 years. So, uh, you must be eligible for that. Uh, Next is uh, in PhD for engineering, what are the requirements? Candidates having MTech ME degree in, a, in a engineering technology with a minimum CPI of 60% or 6.5 uh, marks. So next is the bachelor degree in engineering technology uh, from any institute other than IIT. So you must have CPI of 8 or at least 75% of marks. Bachelor degree from an Indian Institute of Technology in relevant areas with a minimum CPI of 7. Master degree in science in a relevant area with minimum CPI of 7.5 or 70%. So these are the criteria for PhD in engineering. And also if you want to apply for PhD in science, so you can see the eligibility criteria here. 
PhD in humanities and social science. The uh, el eligibility criteria are uh, written here. You can see. Okay. Next is direct admission. That is waiver of entrance test. So here it is written that the institute may admit exceptionally bright students and full time institute fellows directly. That is without entrance test into the PhD program. Eligible candidates meeting one of the following criteria may be considered for a waiver of the entrance test. So here are the, the two points you can read that uh, BTEC from IITs graduated within last five years with a degree in the respective discipline with a CPI of eight out of ten. Okay. Uh, other than this, masters from IIT or ISCs graduated within the last five years with a degree in a respective discipline with a CPI or CGP of 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, for these candidates, additionally, an email must be sent to uh, this mail that a r a c a d e m i c at itp.ac.in with your all the scanned copy of supporting documents. Other than like you will have to apply online and other than this scanned copy of your document should be sent to this mail. Also, you can see that Department of Humanities and Social Science, there would be no direct admission in this department. You can see the relaxation for uh, CST candidates, 5% marks and, uh, and reservation for reservation. You can go through this website for more detail and uh, now the coming to the application fee so for general ews obc ncl male candidates 300 rupees for application for that online application and for female student in this category um, 150 so for female candidates 150 is there uh, irrespective of any uh, other category and scst pwd male candidates 150 fine okay you can pay uh, your fee through this link and uh, let's go to the last date yeah so starting date is 29th march so the application has been started and the last date to submit your online application is 20th april 2022 for other queries you can mail them uh, you can call them and uh, technical queries uh, you can fill this google form okay candidates thank you so much yeah hi guys welcome to my channel so myself, I am Ashwani Kumar, an academy educator of electronic science as well as a general paper one that is teaching and uh, research aptitude. So myself, I cleared the UG Senate as well as the gate for the two times in electronics and communication subject. And uh, in this video, I want to bring you one uh, new batch course uh, for the candidates who are preparing for the next uh, NTA UG Senate exam cycle. So next cycle means as if right now in the month of November and December, uh, NTA UG Senate is conducting the exam. Uh, for the December 2020 as well as the June 2021 med cycle fine and the next cycle is the December 2021 so an academy started the new batch course guys for the paper one as well as the paper two and the highlights of this course are online live classes you will get and even though if you miss the live class due to your busy schedule you can watch the recorded videos also and you can download the class pdfs also which will be very much helpful for your uh, preparation purpose or else to write the short notes purpose or else the revision purpose and the test series are also you can avail from this new batch course and while coming to the official website of the an academy so all of you know that uh, an academy is the india's largest uh, learning uh, platform so it is not only providing the paid courses guys it is providing the free online classes also and you will get the free online classes on the two platforms one is on an academy youtube channel and one is on an academy app itself in the name of uh, special classes so here uh, what I mean, NTA is conducting the UG Senate examination for a total 81 uh, subjects, right? So out of the 81 subjects, an academy is providing the online uh, courses or else the uh, paid courses. Okay, that is nothing but uh, complete coaching uh, for the subjects okay, that you may explore. What are the different subjects an academy is uh, providing this UG Senate uh, examination purpose? And coming to the list of the subjects, so general paper on teaching is common, that means teaching aptitude, that is paper one is common, that you will get in English language as well as the Hindi language. And coming to the remaining the paper two subjects are uh, commerce, management, computer science and application, political science, history, economics, sociology, labor welfare and uh, English and education, 
and geography, law, Hindi, psychology, public administration, electronic science, home science, environmental sciences, philosophy, mass communication and journalism, tourism administration management, Sanskrit, Punjabi, okay, and anthropology. So these are the different uh, subjects that an academy is providing, guys. And uh, while coming to the myself, as I told that. Uh, I am providing the subject that is uh, electronic science, so it is uh, my profile. So for both paper 1 as well as uh, electronic science, I am the academy educator. So the information to the electronic science candidates, I mean, not only to the electronic science candidates, so whatever the subject I shown you right now. So if you want to take the subscription plan where the new batch courses are going to start guys, okay. if you want to take the subscription plan for all this one, then uh, you may click on this get subscription. As I told in the starting itself that you will get the free on I mean, free online class as well as the paid courses also. But under the subscription you will get the complete in detailed uh, syllabus as per the UGC syllabus guys. And uh, you may take the plus or the iconic subscription. So if you click on the plus, okay, these are the different subscription plans are there. So you may take one month or three months or six months or 12 or 24 months. Okay. And here the price are also mentioned. So for one month 3,190 and three months 6,875 like this. And whatever the current courses are running, they are maximum up to the three months. Okay, or else beyond the three months. So the suggestible one is the three months or the six months of subscription plan. Or else if you are preparing for the next other cycles, you may take more than uh, six months also. And uh, if you go to this one here, it it, it mentions that have a referral code here. So here I am providing one referral code, guys. A S W I N I K. Okay. So if you click on this referral code and uh, apply, so whatever the plan you are going to take here, for example, if you want to take the six months of subscription plan, okay, and if you use my referral code that is ASWINIK, then you will get the 10% discount, okay, 10% off you will get on any one of the subscription plan.